Greetings, everybody. Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Clan Folk, Episode 6, Kitchen Glow Up. Wood's going up. We'll keep clearing the stumps. And I haven't checked in on the idea board in a while, so let's take a look. Oat flour. So we are waiting on bowls, which I could make at the timber, the timbery. So I'll queue up four bowls. And that should open up some tech. That will open up a dish rack and dishwasher. Uh, then we're also waiting on the butter churn. So I can get a butter churn in here. We did vote to improve the kitchen. Um, so as soon as these bathrooms are good to go, I will do just that. Get the kitchen in tip-top shape. It finally stopped snowing, so we've got uh, animals here grazing on what little grass there is left. Can being told to till the fields is doing just that. And we also want to make sure to be adding fertilizer where there aren't isn't any. So I'll have to requeue up some fertilizer zones. And where we are storing it, oddly, is pretty well fertilized as well. Oh, my barn being pretty fertilized is too. Uh, I'm going to get rid of that poop hole and the other poop hole. We don't need to poop in holes anymore. We have toilets. Oops. Uh, Grandpa Glitch walked in and Scorpius taking a, you know, steamer. Uh, so yeah, the toilets are now vented. Uh, so they are warming up to room temperature or whatever room temperature is. Glorious. We have bathrooms. So kitchen was the next improvement project. And this is stone floor. So what I'm going to do is floor it up. That's going to be number one. Uh, I do want to ask whether you want fancy tiles or fancy wood. So let me pull on that. What floors to use in the kitchen? Tiles or wood? They're the same benefit, same smooth speed, same uh, environment and all that. They just look a bit different. I could also have a combo, I guess, of tiles and wood. Tiles underneath where there's fire and wood for the rest. I probably should have pulled for that as well. But, you know, a little late for that. Not even cold enough to kill off mosquitoes. I know. Damn mosquitoes. Alright, the tilt farm fields are really coming together, I'd say. We are managing to make... Ooh, next is plaid cloth. That's going to open up some uh, tech options as well. Why do we need a big rock? Needed. Large rock. But it, you're not telling me why, so I'm skeptical if that's a real need or not. <laughs> Alright, fine. I will collect more stones, game. You tell me I need rock, I don't know what for, but I'll collect it. Looks like tiled floors is going to win here, so I am just going to start tiling it up ahead of time. And I think what I'm going to do is tile up... Um, yeah, I'll tile the whole thing. Wall-to-wall -wall tile. You're worth it. That's a lot of tile, though. Farm fields are plowed, so time to fertilize.
grouchy. Taking a look at some of our moods here. Definitely getting a lot of disturbed sleep with Cypher and Can warming themselves up. That's one of the problems of sleeping next to the fire. Uh, so the, the bathrooms here max out our cleanliness, which is great. We'll be very, very clean. So fresh, so clean. Uh, now that we have proper snow, uh, we should be able to start to grab uh, snow jugs as well. Because the, as you can see, oh, come on. Stupid pallet, go away. Uh, the pond here is completely frozen over. So ideas that we've recently unlocked, a dish rack and dish washers. So we'll queue those up. So dish rack stores dishes to be used for meals. I'll put that next to the kitchen, uh, maybe here, facing the kitchen. And then the dishwashers just cleans them once they're used. I'll put that uh, up yonder. And then we're also going to want a quern to grain to grind grain into flour. The grain pallet, uh, I guess, it could stay here. It's not terrible, but uh, we are not going to want to keep anything but oat seeds in this pallet. So then I want a second pallet for the pantry where we keep the oat seeds or keep the other grain seeds. So this is going to be for oat only. Let me update the goals to get rid of the build a bathroom. So we're just improving the kitchen and tilling the fields or in this case, fertilizing the fields. So then other things that we want in the kitchen, uh, we want a butter churn and cheese press. We do have uh, milk. So I'll be laying that out here soon as well. I'm getting rid of the standing torch uh, to free up space in the middle. Oh, and we might want another uh, fireplace uh, instead of this torch, because it is getting uh, kind of cold around here. We don't have enough, enough sources of fire. So this stone fireplace I'll put here because there doesn't seem to be a lot of objects here that will cause fires. So it'll also be pretty useful because this stone fireplace is so close to the entrance door that it's a uh, it's the proximity to the outdoors for people to warm up means that they won't be traipsing over Scorpius's bed constantly like this. Uh, but that requires large stone, which is going to require a quarry at this point. So let's go ahead and queue up yet another pick. And then the uh, the pick that we currently have, I'm going to queue up for a stone quarry. And I'll stick the stone quarry. Where am I going to have a masonry spot? Maybe I'll have a, my mason masonry area out this way. Jen Geo, thank you for the resub. And Witty Zombie, thank you for the follow. All right, butcher block. Let's get that deployed. And water dipper. Not that the water dipper is going to be able to do very much in the winter, but put the water dipper down there. What else is up here? Eh, that's about it. Just the bowls. All right, nice. Rupture King, thanks for the resub as well. So this stone fireplace, I'm going to say, is important. It's urgent. And then keeping the these fires stoked, I'm going to say, is urgent as well. I'm going to leave them as urgent throughout the winter. At least for the first winter, when it's going to be the roughest. Because we're just, just adjusting to the cold life. Honestly, who left an iron ingot just like out in the fields? You know how much work went into that ingot? You guys are idiots. Don't leave that out there.
Now, I'm not really sure how to automate grabbing ice. I've definitely had ice in a stockpile before, but I don't remember how I got it there. What other tasks do we have? So here's the tiles coming in. One of the things that we're going to want with the tiles is um, go to basic needs and go to floor mat. So put floor mats at the doors so that we limit the amount of filth that we drag in. Because as you can see, the floors here are very filthy. Uh, that This door here might need to be moved, in fact. So I'm going to move it up a little bit to bring it away from... So get rid of this straw window. Bring it away from the uh, the campfire that we're building because I don't want the mat to catch fire because it is flammable. So forget that mat. And instead, build a door in this spot. So we are going to be knocking a wall out. Uh, briefly. Very briefly. Put this as emergency. This as emergency. Uh, this tile, don't, don't build that. Put the daub wall here and put the wood floor, wood door there. Emergency and emergency. Because we are not going to have a way to heat up other than standing next to the fires like this until these are built. So now we're warming back up. Uh, we do need more clay. Always clay. So much clay. And what are we waiting on here? This thing needs ingots. Five more ingots from the bloomery to be able to build. No problem. So once we get everything tiled up and we have floor mats, it will limit the amount of filth that gets dragged in. I'm going to stick the tiles as um, 10. So it's the first thing that we build. Put the stone fireplace as emergency so that we can keep the... And I think we're building it right now. So we can keep the, um, the house as warm as we can. There we go. And this will be emergency, and we don't cook on it. So now the inside temperature is about uh, 60 Fahrenheit, which is cold but comfortable. Certainly better than the freezing outdoors, which is 17 Fahrenheit, which is very cold. Hey, Rusty. Thank you for the resub. Alright, I am being told I need more hay. The issue with that is uh, there is really no more gra grass to, uh, to grab. So that's going to have to wait till spring, which is quite a few days away. I'm not going to have the wall torches lit to try to save straw. And then the tile floors that we're making requires clay and tiles. And then, of course, uh, tiles are on the kiln. Tiles require clay and charcoal. And then charcoal um, over at the charcoal kilns require branches and clay. So it's a lot of clay and some branches can be to make our kitchen floors. I think what I'm going to do is move these kilns um, right next to the the uh, the road, though. So it's a, a lot easier to access and use them. And I'll stick those as uh, high priority, do immediate, don't delay. Okay, a traveler has arrived. So this is the traveler um, indicator where we can rent beds 
for money. A maximum amount of money depending on their mood, and if they're upset enough, they'll just leave. I don't have any free beds at the moment to rent out, so I'm not about to, uh, to rent them out to anyone. But that's a good way to make passive coin uh, once you have an abundance of food. Now, it is important when you're renting out beds that you can actually feed the visitors, because if you can't feed them, um, then obviously you're not going to be able to... You know, you shouldn't rent them out. You'll run yourself starvation, and that's not good, and you'll have to butcher farm animals. Or There's no cannibalism that I know of, but yeah, butchering farm animals is pretty sad when you're relying on the farm animals for milk and wool. Milk and wool is not replaceable. So here's an, uh, just a little reminder that during the winter, there are not mushrooms out there to gather, and there are not berries out there to gather. There might be some animals for you to hunt, um, and that was pretty much going to be the only uh, easy-to-grab um, extra food, you know, other than, other than fishing. You can still fish, I think. But you have to make sure that whoever's fishing out there isn't so cold. One one way that you could do it is you could stick a stone fireplace next to your fishing spot and have them get warmed from the ambient temperature, but I think it's probably easier to uh, to try to stockpile for the winter instead. So the farm fields are almost ready to go for the spring. We do have a traveler coming in. Maybe the traveler will have some food for us to buy. We have three days of food, but I'm not too worried about it because there is a lot of hunt out there. There's a lot of bunnies and then the like. And glitches fishing. Ice fishing, but fishing. This is much slower in the uh, in the winter, though. So it's it's not a very efficient way of getting your, uh, getting your grub. Hay trough is completely zeroed. We're completely out of hay. They are eating the um, the hay seed though, which is fine. Oh, look at you with your oats. And I'm not gonna buy the flax. What can I sell you? Uh, I don't wanna sell you anything. Bye. Thank you for your patronage. I think for me to get some additional ice jugs, let me uh, let me try to make more clay jugs and see if we can't fill them with ice somehow. So the kilns are in progress to be moved, but for whatever reason, like nobody is moving them. Kind of annoying. Please move them. Please. We really, really need coal, but. Uh, because these stupid things aren't being moved. Um, and I really don't know why. What? Uh, I think I will lower the priority for other tasks. So that moving these things are higher priority against baking the tiles. And with any luck, they'll get them moved in no time. This is a building tasks. So let me look at the skills here of why my builders aren't building. So that would be Glitch, and I think it's because he's hunting over building. That makes sense. So I'm going to force Glitch to, to build instead of hunt, because I what I what I did was I queued up a ton of bunnies out there to be hunted, and he's just been doing that instead. So it's just an issue of uh, priorities. And our food amount is up to four. So we have enough to survive two-thirds of the winter already. There we go. They're getting moved by Cypher. Perfect. Check ice jugs on the idea board. Sure. Sure. 
I don't see them, which is weird. Oh, here we go. Um, no, that's not right. So on the idea board, to make an ice jug, place in cooking fire or warm room to melt. Also cools room any any room that it is stored. Um, I don't want to melt them. I want to make them. So yeah, that that was not helpful. <laughs> I appreciate it, but yeah, I I don't know how to fill them. It's not so useful. I know. I forget how to make them, or maybe I never knew. I think that'd be more accurate. I never knew. All right, we do have charcoal coming out, so we'll be able to make more clay jugs and maybe we miraculously figure out how to make ice ones once I fill up the other. Uh, so here's the grain pallet, and this grain pallet won't have oat grain, but it will have the other grains so that we have a one dedicated to oats and one dedicated to the other grains because the oats are going to be where we make, um, where we place for the quarn to grind in order to make bread. And then a dough table. And then the bread oven. I'll put here. In the pantry, store water and it will freeze. Yeah, that's smart. I'll just let it freeze in there. You're wicked smart. Because that pantry is very, very cold. Good call. I thought you could maybe cut ice or something like that, but that just isn't in yet. All right, let's hide the vacancy sign because I don't want to um, to be offered to have visitors rent beds. It's not something we need right now. And then look at my resources. Wood is still pretty not great. Uh... We do have an iron axe. Let's get a second one. And then I might need to reprioritize uh, cutting down trees, raising that up for someone. So right now on the idea board, oat flour. Here it is, oat flour. So let's make oat flour until we have 25 of it. So what that is, is it takes oat grain and... Oh, you know what? Actually, don't make oat flour because I'm going to want those that oat grain to plant crops in the spring. So I'm not going to be making bread just yet. I wouldn't mind getting the ovens ready for when we make it, but I'm not going to be doing it just yet. There we go. So now we have a, a whole bunch of uh, water, um, which should be freezing so that we can use it as a coolant in the summer. Thanks for the tip, guys. And then we have warm water here uh, stored for the bathtubs and drinking. And then this pallet, I will say, have milk or milking buckets. So this will be uh, for milk only. We do have the ability to do uh, butter churn or cheese press. And Emily just died of old age. Rip. The dish... Okay, yeah, dishwasher. I think the thresher eventually is not going to be placed in here because it doesn't really fit into a kitchen. It doesn't belong. But, um, I guess we're having chicken tonight, because our, our poor little chicken just, just, just bit it. Rest in peace, chicken. I'd pour one out, but I don't want to pour coffee out. That's a waste. Almost halfway through this winter. Here is the stone quarry. So the stone quarry allows you to queue up a certain amount of stones to have in supply all the time. I'm never gonna want small stones. I just don't find the use for them really. But large stones at least we can queue up to like 10. That way we have enough large stones for uh, tiling purposes or building purposes, whatever it might be. Give puppies a treat, surely. Hey dude. 
And now that we... Let's not make these clay jugs so we can get back to making tile for the kitchen. Hi, Tusk. Oh, just got a big tongue across my palm. There you go, girl. Treats for you, too. If you look at the beauty, where we've been putting in these fancy tiles um, and the fireplaces specifically, are pretty beautiful spots. Same with these stone windows. They're very beautiful. The bathroom toilets are always going to be ugly, but, um, but yeah, some real improvements here. As we make clay tiles, we'll be able to complete the kitchen, and I think that will be a good indicator of where we leave off. And here we go. Yeah, the water jars are freezing. Awesome. Cheers. Guess I'm out. And here's the job board, now that we have the large rocks. I'm going to hide it, because I'm not ready to hire outside help. I don't have that much food. Speaking of food, always be killing bunnies. Alright, it should be defrosting here, or fr freezing in a second, as you can see, quality 2%, and then they should freeze. Oh, yep, there we go. Ice jug. And the ice jugs help to keep that room cold to keep food from spoiling in warmer seasons. Okay, butter churn is done. So I will do five butter. And then, as soon as we get the nails for the cheese press, I can also queue up cheese as well. But we got butter! Man, she turned that quick. She's got practice. There we go. Yep, multiple ice jugs. So you can melt the ice jugs uh, on the kitchen or stove tab, but I don't want to melt the ice jugs. I don't want to treat them like that. I want to keep them... Oh, no, where are you going with that? No, don't... No, uh, no, stop, stop, stop. Don't melt them. Because I want to keep them in here so that they can act as a way to keep my... Um, my pantry cold. Alright, it's finally not snowing, so I think we can do some tailoring my wood is bad I definitely need I did mention before but I definitely need to reprioritize someone to do lumber uh, looks like Scorpius this is gonna be you so it's gonna be over your gather so cut down those trees for wood so that we can stay warm I have a lot of oat sheaf in here so all that oat sheaf, I am going to continue to just <clears throat> thresh the oat sheaf for straw because we're almost out of straw. And that will also yield a bunch of oat grain so that it can plant oats in the spring uh, when the farm fields thaw. This is a baby bunny. Man, I have no shame. I also probably, because I haven't been doing it, ought to dump corpses not human corpses, but dump corpses next to the butcher block so that it's a little bit easier to uh, to butcher critters. And this this kitchen's come together. I would have liked to also had a brick wall set up for it, but I, I just don't. I haven't done that, obviously, yet. And cheese. Let's make some cheese. So cheese is at, the, is at the end of the idea board, as you can see. So that's the last of the tech. There are some things that I haven't unlocked, like... Um, 
what would this be? Uh, this would be like porridge or stew, because I, I would need bread for that. Or plaid, because I haven't made plaid cloth yet. Flour palette, because I haven't made oat flour yet. And this is bros or oatmeal. So there are some things I have not yet made, but we are just about done with the tech tree. From here on out, uh, what is left, if you're wondering, is more or less to, um, to just improve and expand and set up like an inn and set up trading and set up uh, worker huts for job boards and the like. You know, that that's, that's sort of what's left. And there's always more improvements to be made, making things more comfortable and warmer and all that. So it's just because uh, we're close to the end of the tech tree doesn't mean that there's nothing left to do. It also means that there's, apart from that, there's also like a ton of, um, you know, a, a ton of development that is queued up and will be done, you know, over time. But this is sort of uh, a pretty, a pretty happy little layout, I'd like to think. How much bark do I have? 260? Okay. Let's bark up the path here so I can walk it quicker to get out to the stone quarry. Gonna need to replace the bathtub soon. Other big things is to just have beautiful bed, bedrooms, huge rooms, private bedrooms, um, that kind of thing. Those are those are pretty lofty but very important goals as well. We are down to two days of food. I probably need to tell them to butcher a bit more. So hunting skill. Let's go to the skill list. And hunting makes Glitch happy. So I'm going to raise that up to max again. So he can start butchering bunnies uh, for, for our meals. Which means pulling them from construction, but keeping us fed. Probably a little bit more important. Oh, and I have baby lamb. I didn't realize. So... Right at the buzzer here, because I know I'm coming up at the end of the stream, I am going to raffle off these two new lamb. I don't know how old they are. I've had them actually kind of a while, because they are 1,600 seconds old. So good luck. Good luck in the uh, the raffle here. Raffle timer's above my head. And I should be amassing a ton of oat grain. So far, 261 of it, so that we can plant plentiful oats to have a great supply of bread and, well, oat flour, but a great supply of oat flour for food coming up in the new season. Now, if you're wondering, um, it is pretty effective to just mine out caves and have your, have your production facilities like tailoring and... Um, your bloomery and your your blacksmith all enclosed in caves. I don't think that it looks nice. And this game, in my opinion, is not, at least on the fresh start difficulty, not hard enough to warrant um, min-maxing like that. You sort of have to get into it and, and sort of have to role play in order to enjoy it because it's just not challenging enough to just min-max otherwise. Unless you're doing like an orphan start, orphan starts are pretty brutally hard. But uh, but even then, once you once you start and have a little bit of um, had a little bit of infrastructure under your belt, even the orphan start isn't so bad, especially when they start to age up. So I'm also just uh, improving the pantry. I'm trying to add a uh, floor in the pantry so that we can traverse it a little bit quicker, get through it, and get to the general storage faster. So here's a pretty good indicator of how dang cold you can get. Like, let's take a look at someone that is wearing a lot of warm stuff, like Cypher, who has a leather tunic and a wool cloak. And even with that leather tunic and a wool cloak, um, his warmth 
bottoms out because it's almost in the negatives. Oh, here we go. I will buy your iron. And I will sell you nothing. Good day, ma'am. David with a U. Dawood. D I, I don't know. Bye. I don't want to trade with you. Katrin, what about you? I will buy your hay, because I'm out of hay. And I'll sell you my poop. Because I respect you. I will sell... Yep. That's it. That will at least put some hay in the hay trough so that animals can eat hay and not just my grass seed. What? Were they a Welsh, Welsh trader? Yeah, seems like it. Here's a lot of raw meat that uh, that Glitch has been grabbing. Unfortunately, the butcher block, even though it's not exactly a pa uh, a passive production facility, um, it does not haul meat automatically for you, which is a bit of a bummer. But with that said, Can is hauling it into the meat racks, so it doesn't spoil. And the amount of clay that I need for all these tiles is ridiculous. There is no amount of clay that they're happy with. Uh-oh. We're starting to get uh, sick a little bit. Just a common cold. Not terrible. Treatment is sleep and um, oatmeal, but I don't have oats for the oatmeal at the moment. Okay, in here I only want ice jugs, and in here I do not want ice jugs. Only water jugs. Well, only milk barrels. And here, I uh, only water. And empty ones. Some porridge. Yeah. I will do one process of oat flour so that I can unlock those blueprints. Might as well. Oh man, but you're gonna get get ravaged trying to be out there. All right, I think because I have so many young sheep, uh, we are gonna slaughter our old ones for the food. I know, I know. So the new ones, the young ones, are gonna be J-Fed, who will inevitably betray us. And then, uh, Tolula. Well, someone's gonna eat lamb tonight. Who's gonna... Who's using the axe? I like how their current task is sheltering. That won't save you. <laughs> All right, let's stop with the raw fish, because we've got two plump lamb to get. So there we go. Uh, I have made my first oat flour, and the oat flour can be turned into dough. So I'm going to make a batch of dough here. And then it also could be turned into bros, or oatmeal and hot water. Uh, so I can do five of them to be able to treat the common cold. And that will keep us uh, on the healthy side, hopefully, because there is a whole lot of people. Some some have already um, survived the common cold, like uh, like Ace Shield here, who's now antibodies towards it. The common cold is not that terrible of a uh, of an affliction. It's not going to really kill you, obviously. Whoa! Except for Glitch died of old age. Okay, so now that Glitch has died about old age, uh, he is going to be hauled out to this gravesite over here. Rip, my friend. Make it important. Well, 
I guess that's one way for the the sheep to live a little bit longer. And here Scorpius is going to bury his grandpa. Oof, rip. Yeah, sorry grandpa. We'll miss you. <laughs> I'm going to steal your plaid. <laughs> I mean, we'll miss you. Uh, all of the tailoring stuff that I've queued up to six, I can now really just queue up to five. We have one less person to... to dress. So I don't need two ply cloth, only the one. Well, if he's gone, uh, who's hunting next? God, I don't really have any good hunters. I guess can. Guess what? It's on you, daughter. Good luck. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> I shouldn't have moused over that. Having to go to the bathroom... Very suddenly is called Turtle Head. For, you know, gross reasons only. Except for just go to sleep. I think we're probably all already wearing his plaid. I think Cypher put the plaid on. Her husband's plaid. I wanted the uh, the wind condition here to be a fully tiled up kitchen, so I'm going a little over time to just trying to get that done. It is taking some time. The getting the clay in the winter is very difficult because of how dang cold it is. We're not really able to stay outside very long before we have to go take shelter again, as you may have noticed. And Aviator 10, slaughtered, butchered, and that will keep us fed. And Petters KJ also following suit. And with them slaughtered, let's go ahead and um, get the fish again. Taking a look at the river, or the pond, uh, it has a little bit of fish left. It's not great. The fishing in this boat is better. This one has only a little fish. Every, every pond has their own supply, so overfishing, obviously, is not going to help you. Because eventually there's just nothing left to catch. Alright, guys. Come on. Make these make these dang tiles already. You're, you're making me very sad. And there we go. We have bread unlocked. So here, now that we have a little bit of dough, we can make... Uh, we can make some bread. So we work the quarn to grind the grain into flour, then the flour goes into the dough table to prepare it as dough balls, and then the dough balls go into the bread oven to make bread. And then once we have bread, we can also make uh, other ingredients as well that are included. So I'm almost done with the uh, with the idea board. So that's another good reason to stop, it, or a final, you know, we finished all the, the, uh, the tech tree. So here's our first bread, and if we look at the idea board here, uh, I haven't made plaid yet, or stew, but that's probably all that's locked. Or gold ingots. I haven't uh, haven't done enough mining in these mountains to find gold. Not that gold matters. And here's Elspeth. Oh, you've got berries. I will take your berries. Thank you for the berries. Keeps us fed. Now we have enough food to last us till the end of winter, I think. Just about. So... That's a good milestone, I think. God, these tiles take forever. It's just so cold, we can't spend time... Um, can't really spend time getting the clay, because then we freeze.
And most of our food right now is actually dried mushrooms that we stockpiled in other seasons. Further cementing how important it is to stockpile for winters. As, you know, you'd probably imagine. And stew. So now that we have bread, we're able to make stew. So stew is here. So here's bros. We, you know, we've made some bros already. And stew is a bowl, raw meat, bread, water, charcoal, and it is tasty stuff. So we'll make at least one. Actually, let's make uh, six. Requires a lot of ingredients, but it is very filling and people are going to be really happy eating it. Here we go. Cypher making the stew. Boom. This is the best stuff in the world, is the uh, tooltip here. Kind of bothers me that uh, all this butchered meat is just sitting out here, but... Yeah, Glitch never knew. He never lived to the stew. It is pretty sad. But this is his legacy. If you think of it that way, where everything that we have built is his... His family name, his legacy, uh, it, it gets a lot less sad, I think. Thanks, I'm glad you think I've done a good job with uh, Clanfolk. I tried to learn as best I could, so I could teach it to all of you, and you could see the ins and outs. And uh, I quite enjoy it, and right now it's actually on the poll of whether or not I play it for next week. So if you'd like more of it, uh, just go to Discord or the YouTube community uh, site for my on my YouTube, and you can vote for more clan folk for next Thursday if that interests you. All right, the rest of these trees you are spared for now. I'm not going to worry about cutting them down. We have probably enough logs and branches to last us. What I really want is the floors. I did say that the floors would be the checkpoint for being done, and we just have not done that yet. It's frustrating. They're just so slow. Come on, I'm staring at all these tiles. There's 40 tiles, just start tiling. I need only 45 tiles to be done. Oh, yeah, here we go. Thank you, Kadath. You, you saint. You absolute saint of a man. It's finally getting it done for me. And I'll just emergency priority, like, everything involved in this process. So we could get it done sooner. Four tiles left. Oh, yeah, I have enough. So we're just waiting on clay for that. And we'll grab that clay tomorrow morning. And then it'll be done. So what do you guys think? Does it look interesting to you? I saw a lot of comments of, is this just RimWorld? And no, I mean, it isn't. It really isn't. It isn't the same storytelling. It isn't the same, um, you know, it looks similar, but uh, it plays very different. I play a lot of games like this, so I feel like it's far more differentiated than maybe the casual, um, the casual colony home building survival game person that would play. Definitely has a lot of promise. Uh, it has added in a lot of features and done a lot of patching uh, very, very quickly, which has been interesting. I don't know if it's sustainable at the rate that they've been going, but uh, it's impressive, I will say, of how much they have patched up and fixed. So you can look at the news log on uh, on Steam to see what they've been doing and, and what's in the works. 
and it looks pretty cool. Oh, even more ice in here. Okay, we have officially, although the, the kitchen is disgusting nasty, uh, we have officially technically uh, cleaned it all up. What I will do is give it a nice spit shine polish. I'm going to make cleaning the top priority for everybody, except for my hauler, because there's still stuff to be hauled. Just to show you how nice of a kitchen it is as proof. So here we go. Tiling it up, and it's going from red to blue. Uh, these aren't emergency. Well, whatever. There's two spots left. That's fine. So then, in a room like this, uh, it is going to really improve the mood because it is a huge room. Um, and it's beautiful. And people like to spend time in huge, beautiful rooms. It still needs a little bit of uh, extra work. It needs new walls. It needs maybe a new roof. But um, this is where I'm going to leave off. Thank you for tuning in to Clan Folk, which originally streamed live on Twitch July 29th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you'd like to join my gaming community, Rodamont.com or the description of this video have a link to Discord. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel. I'll catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, everybody.